little scruple alights his vehicle and walks towards my heart with a weapon cocked, ripping my lover from his cockpit of innocence. The being cuffs him. The being beats him. The being arrests him, degrades him for entering a no king zone, belting it out in a coward's tone and getting away with atrocities because my king is alone. Hovering above in my dream bubble, I scream and beat the bubble until my hands bleed, but I cannot help. He cannot hear and I am paralyzed with fear. Because you see, the man that I adore is tantalizingly tall. The man that I adore is decadently dark. The man that I adore is driving wild black. Someone please tell me, how can this be? How can they treat my king this way? Because of a discrepancy. My master protector has had his body broken. Cuts, scrapes, bruises, breaks his tokens, and this being has visited my heartthrob much too often, and I'm beginning to believe that the goal is to send my soulmate to his coffin. Hovering above, I scream and beat the bubble until I bleed. Then I drop to my knees. For it is finally revealed to me that this being is not human and does not see my mahogany king as a man. And so I awake, realizing that it was all just a dream. Just a dream, just a dream. Until the scent of liniment and cream forces me back to reality, and so duty calls. I mend the holder of my future sea, distracting him from my tears as I sing. Soon I will be done with the trouble of this world. Trouble of this world. Trouble of this world. Soon I will be done with the troubles of this world. I'm going home to live. With my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.